Hello, Mama Patsa. Patsy. Hello, <laughs> hello, Patsy. David and Deborah. There are amazing things going on in the house of the fuzzy-headed guy. All right, yeah. now, this fellow, Justin, uh, too much light in the background. Let's do this way. Here we go. This fellow, Justin, has showed up at the family honesty camp full of whiteboard, full of information, and full of library, 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 and information. And this is an address to Mama Patsy, David and Deborah Berceau, Sister Teresa, Lisa, Danielle, Jesse, Francesca, Tricia, Deborah Newman, and the elders of the Father's Heart Ministry, and especially the brothers, Levi Schultz, David Blackburn, Brian Pitts, David Berceau, Torben, and Peter Allman, and Don Blizzard. Cool things are happening. All right, tell them what happened when you showed up here. He would just showed up here a few days ago. Yeah, basically, I came here. Spirit has been talking to me about a slew of revelations. And I come here, and the Spirit uses this place from confirmation from dreams I've had that this is where they were going to confirm and build up the most insane things ever. And that has been coupling off of things like from this book, these, it's been absolutely these insane. These two things that we're lifting up, David and Deborah Berceau, yeah, I, I let them know that, you know, I'm doing this family honesty camp thing, and they sent me their entire CD library and the Dictionary of Early Christian Bleeps just to share with people who come and visit. Yep. It has been awesome. So, describe the civil, civil thing. I mean, that's the pr primary sweetness. <laughs> I'm not even sure there's words to describe <laughs> that. All I know is it was confirmation, and it was just beyond description. It was incredible. In this book, The Dictionary of Early C Christian Beliefs, hold it up, which is kind of my most important book next to my Bible. It's 700 different topics that you would ask the early disciples, like, what about angels? And what did Je Jesus teach about communion? And what about this? And what about that? And there is one place that I love to start with. Mm -hmm. It's called Sybil. It's a story about the Sibylline prophetesses that lived way before the Hebrew era that have all of these writings that describe one God above all peoples and the people's language being confused at the Tower of Babel yeah. and this guy that's going to show up who walks on the waves right, exactly. and like there is only one uncreated God and all this stuff is written completely outside of the Judeo-Christian mm -hmm. yep. which is really exciting for me because I used to have an intellectual kind of nation of the Judeo-Christian stuff because the Christians didn't seem to have it all on right and the Jews didn't seem to have it all on right so I was just like seeking my fortune but now the treasures are piled up in this little house and there's only so many things that you can learn but a lot of them are generally missing so David and Deborah Berso thank you so much David and Very Deborah Berso were card carrying elders of the Jehovah's Witnesses <laughs> and wow. and they their hearts broke when they discovered the early Christian writings they had a bookstore where when you came into the bookstore you could pay whatever you could afford Inside really? of every book, it had oh. their cost, mm -hmm. and then it had 10% above their cost for just basic carrying things, and yeah. then there was the list price. Wow. And they said, you wouldn't believe how many people would come in and pay the list price above ordinary bookstore price, because... Wow. Everybody would hang out in our bookstore and talk about things. Yeah. And if you didn't have money for a book, you could take one home and then put it in the used book rack, wow. which somebody would take off and then pay full price for it. And wow. it was so, they had so much business that the other Christian bookstores were trying to get the distributors not to distribute for, mm -hmm. to them because it was like, it's not fair that they're giving books away. <laughs> yeah, and that's yeah, why yeah, they're yeah. getting such great business. Right. So these are the kinds of giving people that the, the, the Bersos are, and David and Deborah, I thank you so much for your gift to Christianity, your library gift, your library wisdom to ordinary people in Christianity. They tried to chase David down and make him a priest or an apostle, and he's just, mm -hmm. well, I'm just an information person. Like, you can't start a church around me. I just want to help people understand yep. what they should be doing in their homes and churches. Anything's possible with God. <laughs> right, and it was so neat to watch them through whole, this whole yeah. process. And then they moved to where the kind of plain folks and Mennonites are because they wanted their children to be raised in a much more, like, simple, separate 
separated from the world holy atmosphere. Right, right, right. So they tend to be a little bit less on the Holy Ghost fire and power stuff, but mm. they are so precise on the fact that the Holy Spirit is a big part of early Christianity for ages and ages and ages. Yeah. So, you know, the, the King James Bible only people can't argue them out of like Holy Ghost fire and yeah, stuff like right. that. So anyhow, thanks everybody. This is a happy moment at Family Honesty Camp. Peace be with you. God bless.